Hello everybody, Abbott's brother here. We are in Batman Arkham Origins. We're gonna run the benchmark on my RX-470. I hope that's the right color up there. I debated about that. Uh, but let's go to options and grab- hope this doesn't crash it. Okay, we're still going. So we've got uh, 1080p, FXAA high, which is the highest setting that can be chosen there. DX11 enhanced, DX11 enhanced, motion blur is on, even though I hate it. Depth of field is DX11 enhanced, everything else is on. Ambient occlusion is DX11 enhanced, and physics is off. Because why would I want to drain performance like that? But without turning physics on, this is as good as this game can look. So let's see how the benchmark goes. I am very fond of this game, not as fond of it as I am of Arkham City. But it is a good Batman game. So this is the uh, MSI Armor OC version of the RX-470. And this is running it at the stock clocks. I believe it's a little over it's overclocked from what AMD rates the RX470, but I didn't overclock it in any way. I just boosted the uh, power limit by 15% in Wattman so that the 1230 MHz boost clock would uh, stay steady. And I did try overclocking it uh, quite a bit. I actually achieved I was able to hit 1375 on the core and 1840 on the memory. But, and the card only hit 75 degrees, I think, centigrade, with those overclocks on it. But I didn't get a lot more performance. Um, I got like six or eight more FPS, and to me, that given the amount of heat and the noise the fans make when they spin up to keep it cool, because at that temperature, the fans, to keep it at that temperature, the fans were spinning about 2800 RPM on the graphics card. Very noisy. I was just like, that's just not worth the trade off to me. So, I reset it to stock clocks, boosted the power limit to keep the uh, boost clock steady, and that's probably where I'm going to leave it for now. Got no complaints with the performance. And this is with a 10 FPS hit for software capture while while running this, so definitely very pleased with this benchmark.